What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to Flix Talk Podcast. Now, in this review, I'm going to be talking about the brand new film, Bombshell. But before we jump into that, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up if you guys do appreciate movie content, movie reviews like this, and make sure to hit that subscribe and bell notification to always get notified about videos like this or vlogs out and about. We also talk about physical media on this channel. So if you guys like movie culture stuff like that, please consider giving a subscribe today. Bombshell was released on a limited run December 13th, 2019 and given a wide release December 20th, 2019. It's directed by Jay Roach, who also directed such films as Meet the Parents, The Campaign, Dinner for Schmucks, and the Austin Power Films. I know not a great track record, but don't let those past titles fool you. This one is way different and I'm gonna let you guys know my likes and dislikes in a minute. Now, Jay Roach also directed the biographical drama film Trumbo, starring Brian Cranston as Hollywood screenwriter Dalton Trumbo, most likely sparking his interest to do this biographical drama as well. Now, Bombshell stars Charlie Theron as Megan Kelly, Nicole Kidman as Gretchen Carlson, and Margot Robbie as Kayla Pospisil. This film also stars and focuses on Fox News CEO Roger Ailes, played by John Lithgow, as the allegations that involved him him and some of the other men at Fox News. Now, this movie only takes place a few years ago, I believe in 2016, around the time Donald Trump announced his running for presidency. Megyn Kelly finds herself torn between being a leading lady news anchor at one of the most watched stations in the country and asking the tough-hitting truth questions that could potentially get her fired from her job. Gretchen Carlson from Fox and Friends feels inferior and sexually harassed at her time on the show with her male counterparts. And Kayla's character character is still wet behind the ears but knows she wants to be working at Fox News as she believes they are the most trusted, fair, and balanced news source in the television market and will do whatever it takes to rise to the top. But one thing these women all have in common is being taken advantage of by men and especially Roger Ailes. Now Ailes is a master manipulator that is old-fashioned, paranoid and a degrading individual that built an empire on strategically placing his women, so to speak, in the forefront to get ratings. Now, when the women in our film have had enough, they plan to fight back against one of the largest and most heavily lawyered up companies on the planet. Now, I'll just jump right into my likes for Bombshell, guys, was the phenomenal acting from all of our leading ladies, as well as John Lithgow as Roger Ailes. It was such a believable role for everybody in place. I believe Charlie Theron even had some kind of prosthetics added to her and definitely her voice was deepened to kind of fit Megyn Kelly. Now I'll be the first to say I don't follow politics whatsoever so I don't know the 100% truth and what was going on during the time of all these allegations guys so maybe you guys can leave it in the comments below because there is a lot of critics out there saying that this film did not get it 100% but I'm not here to talk politics or any of that. I'm just here to give you guys a 100% true accurate reaction to the film that I just saw. Now, once again, all the acting was really, really up there, guys. It was above and beyond, especially from Margot Robbie's character. She was definitely one of my favorites and standouts in the film. All the women did phenomenally, kind of telling their story. So we got to focus on them three as the main focal point. Of course, there's a lot of side characters and there was a lot of women that came forward that they actually interview or, well, you know, the characters they interview in the story as they are all trying to take on Roger Ailes and Fox News. And like I said, they are loyal to the T. So it's one of those you really, really fear for these women as far as, you know, this could hurt their career and potentially the safety in their own personal life as we get to see a scene where Megyn Kelly is being followed by paparazzi while she's on vacation and her family seems to be in danger in that scene. Now, the whole nature of this movie is dealing with sexual allegations to kind of get to the top and Roger Ailes, once again, is the mastermind behind all of that. There was other men that they did not focus Focus on the one name that you guys are probably going to see attached to this movie as well was Bill O'Reilly. He was involved with sexual allegations as well. So we get to see a character playing Bill O'Reilly in this film. So there is a little bit of tie in and correlation when it comes to that character. But overall, it's Roger Ailes they're focusing on. I didn't see it before I made my top 10 list, but this is definitely an honorable mention. It was a solid, solid performance. I usually don't watch movies like this that are really political.
biographical or autobiographical if I'm being completely honest. I've only seen a few, maybe like Rocket Man or Bohemian Rhapsody that really kind of drew my eye just mainly because they're musicians. But when it comes to stories like this, I think it was more of the subject nature that drew me in to wanting to see this film. And I'm so glad I did. It was a very, very powerful story. I'm not going to get into any spoilers if you guys did not follow the real life story of this happening in 2016. They do focus a little bit on Trump and, uh, you know, his interaction with Megyn Kelly because they did have a nasty interaction offline and online. So you get to see all the actual tweets that he did post about her. And it's kind of crazy to see that that really did happen. But other than that, guys, I really did love kind of the direction that all this went. Though the director, Jay Roach, did a lot of comedies that kind of failed and fell flat at the box office, this one kind of really threw me for a surprise. And in some scenes, it almost looked like a documentary when the camera, the cinematography kind of zoomed in on some certain faces to invoke emotion. It did feel like an episode of The Office that I was watching while I'm watching a lot of these characters just talking at the Fox News station. If anything, for dislikes, guys, I would say there was a couple scenes where Nicole Kidman's character breaks the fourth wall and with this film per se I didn't think it needed that too much it got a little preachy when it came to that part but I just wanted to see the overall story and the outcome because it looked like it was an extremely uphill battle for a lot of these women and a lot of the women that were placed there at Fox News seemed to be completely fine of how they were being treated by the men so it was a little interesting seeing some of the women that were fighting against it and some of the women that were like team Roger Ailes it was bizarre so that being said guys bombshell my overall score I'm going to give a solid four out of five saying definitely go check this one out I probably won't be adding it to my collection because it's one of those one and done movies but it's a very powerful story like I said the performances were amazing and I didn't have too many gripes with it you get a lot of side characters of actors that played like Rudy Giuliani or even Mark Duplass as Megan Kelly's husband so a lot of great actors kind of thrown in there so if you guys want to see some award-winning performances definitely check out Bombshell today all right guys have you seen Bombshell do you guys plan to see it very soon or, or do you guys plan to wait till streaming or VOD to check it out? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys did appreciate my review, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button for more content like this. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. I'm gone. Peace.